everybody knows the Big Ten is a great league, probably the best league in the country. Um, but I feel like we have the way we have competitors on this team and the will that we have. Um, it's going to be it's going to be hard, well, tough, definitely in this building and anywhere we go to to um, beat us because our will is. Um, something you don't really see. Like everybody competes at a high level every day in practice. We push each other, and um, I feel like I feel like this team is special. Here with Fats Russell, who instantly becomes sort of the the drum leader of this group. You can see it as he runs up and down the court in practice. Pretty impressive to see you out here with sort of your Philly Four with Dante, uh, Hakeem, Eric, and then you throw Q in there. And that guy's, that's a load. You were right. Or I guess it was Hakeem that said he actually towers over Hakeem. He does. Yeah. Uh, is this as good as five as you've played on recently? Most definitely. Without even thinking about it, I know it is. Um, mm -hmm. Just the pieces that we have, it seems like just the perfect fits. You know, Dante can do everything. You know, EA's dynamic. Yeah. Um, Keem's been a lockdown defender and, and can score the ball at a high level. And then Q's just a low down there. Um, he just, in my opinion, every time he gets it, it seems like he scores the ball. Yeah. And, um, you know, when you have a, a presence like that in the paint, you know, it just makes it um, that much fun to play with. Yeah, so you've known Matt Brady a long time, huh? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I, I like him. I mean, yeah. So what has he done to your game in the – how long have you been working with him here? Um, I got on campus, I believe, June, yeah. and I've been working with him since. since uh, I've been. Finder Four Gates makes your company work. So what changes did he point out, and what have you done? Um, he's made my jump shot um, consistent. Mm -hmm. He told me it was going to be a long process. That first that first month, mm -hmm. it was difficult, man. Mm -hmm. um, he, it's kind of hard to um, correct something that I've been doing for so long. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's okay, you know, so I, what were you doing and what did he change? Were you like on the side of the ball or something? Or? Yeah, um, it was mostly just hand placement yeah. um, on the ball. And, you know, I bought in right away. You know, it was hard at first, but I bought in. And, mm -hmm. um, it's, been, it's been showing progress, and I feel like I got it all the way now. He oh. told me it's going to be a long process, but, I, you know, I just stuck with him, and I, I believe him. So. Yeah. How do you find working with the other guards on the team? You know, when a guy with your experience comes in, you have to fit yourself in. Mm -hmm. And you know, obviously they've accepted you. Uh, pretty good working with an experienced guy like Ayala, I assume. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, you know, it's easy when you have the character that we have on this team. You know, Eric Ayala is a great person. Um, Dante is a great person, and Keem's a great person. You know, that core that's been here, mm -hmm. um, they just kind of just, since the new guys got in here, they just welcomed us with open arms. You know, they kind of just let me be myself. I feel like I'm a natural leader. And, um, I fit, I fit right in with this group because, you know, it's just a group full of leaders and people that are determined and want to win first. So um, when you get a lot of guys with the same goal, um, same mindset, and the same ability, it kind of just fits perfectly. As an outsider, what were your opinions of College Park and playing basketball in Maryland? And yeah. was it like the fact they're always on national TV and stuff? Mm -hmm. Was that a driving force for you? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Um, and the, the coaches, you know, you got a great coaching staff. Um, I know I knew Coach Brady for a very long time, um, and then you know it's kind of close to home, and just having Dante Keem and uh, Eric here um, played a big role as well because I known them for 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 a long time. You went, you went back to your high school or the summer. It's all over social media, <laughs> playing pickup with some NBA guys, Adam yeah. Sandler. So first question, how, how good is Adam Sandler? Um, he definitely can play basketball. <laughs> um, when he shoots the ball, you, you can tell like he's been doing it for a long time. Um, kind of out of shape, kind of old. But <laughs> well, since but, uh, obviously you're a comedian, what does he think of your acting skills? That's the other side of that question. Oh, um, I, I didn't give him no acting skills, but uh, I, actually when we played our first game, I was his matchup. And, you know, I caught the ball in the wing and he was guarding me. I just kind of threw it it to the next person because I didn't want to go at him saying I didn't want to be that guy <laughs> so, so I just let him just keep going run up and down he actually made a um, mid-range jump shot and everybody was happy for him so it was a, it was a good experience and how much does it help though also just getting to play against these NBA guys and kind of just working yourself up during the summer as you get ready for the season oh yeah no, no that was good they kind of with me and Dante they was kind of just telling us how they 
got to the point they was at, um, just giving us advice and um, just telling us to keep working. We're going to get there one day type of thing.